3D Outdoors and today's overview is on the NSR Tactical holster for the Canik TP9SA pistol. The Canik has gotten a lot of attention lately due to its price point and also because of the decocker that it has on it. Um, in this case the decocker is a plus because we can see that the uh, striker is forward and the firearm is totally disengaged so we can use it in the review safely for those safety people out there that are worried that I'm working with a gun here with a magazine in it there's no ammunition in it and the decocker has been pushed so the striker is actually disengaged so back to the review on the holster here ordered this holster uh, the end of November and just got it in the other day I'll roll in some footage of me on the range with it and using it but the first thing I noticed when I pulled it out of the box and got my first impressions of it was quality. When I look at it, the corners are all nicely rounded, uh, nothing to catch on anything. The, the kydex molds into itself quite nicely on there. Um, I did order the version with the extensions and the drop. I wanted to be able to make sure that I could use it if I wanted to wear it with my plate carrier. The nice thing about this holster from looking at it is that I could take all of those pieces off and just put the belt tabs right on the holster itself. So this could be convertible to any fashion that I wanted to carry it. If I wanted to carry it drop down low and I can actually go one one space lower here so that I got more clearance or I could tighten it up by going the other direction or if I took the belt loops completely off <clears throat> I could move them over here and then move them up and down accordingly so that if I wanted to carry it riding further up on my side or lower down now some people would say that would be for if you wanted to carry outside the waistband concealed carry which I wouldn't choose the canic to do but I will order another holster for another one of my firearms for that purpose that I'd be able to adjust it in that manner. Uh, we'll go over the reasons for not wanting the Canik as a carry firearm in a different video. But this is about the holster today. There's an adjustment screw right here. You can see on the inside down in there, there's a grommet. You can tighten this up for retention. I found that when I got the holster out of the box it was already set properly you can hear that audible click when it goes in and out of the holster showing how well it's retained in the holster you bounce it around it's not going to fall out so if you're, if you're moving around doing a course of fire on a range um, it's not going to jump out of there on you it's solid in the holster well molded to the firearm that it's intended for. There's a piece that comes up here that covers the mag release so you won't in inadvertently hit that. On the website you'll see that they say six to eight weeks for delivery. Um, small company is trying to keep up with orders but well worth the wait. This particular holster was $105. Obviously it was more because it had the drops on. You can find any kind of holster you want on their website. They make knife sheaths they might make tool carriers, magazine pouches, holsters, a whole line of, of Kydex on their website there. And from this example right here, I would say very high quality. I will order from them again. Uh, like I said, for some of my other firearms, very impressed with the quality. I'll roll in some footage on the range of using this holster. Ran several magazines through the Canik and very easy to, to pull it out of the holster when it's intended. It locks it in good when you don't want it to bounce out. And, and very easy to find that back again when you want to reholster that. Um, that's the nice thing about Kydex is it stays open and goes down in there. You don't have the button like the holster that came with the Canik. The Canik comes with a Serpa style holster with that release button. A lot of people are very much against that because they're worried about pushing that button and, and pulling the firearm out and shooting themselves in the leg. Some ranges have actually made those a no-go on the ranges if they let you use a holster at all on their range. 
a very good holster. Um, if you have a Canik and you're looking for a holster, there's a few places that are now making them, but the first one that I was able to find was NSR Tactical. They were ahead of the curve. As you can see from the camouflage pattern there, I got the ATAX. Um, you can get any number of different camouflage patterns from them. So check out their website. I'll include the information in the description below. This is Dan with 3D Outdoors, reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. See you next time.